how are you doing today i'm going to show you how you can create a custom object detection application uh using python and streamlit so in here you can see it is now tracking all the objects so we have a car we have a person and now we just created a feature in which you can just select the objects you want to detect so let's just tick box it you you want to say whether you want to use the custom object detection or not so you want to just you can select the custom classes right now you can select a car if you want you can only select a person as well or you can select both of them as well so let's now select both of them and see how uh, that looks you can see now it works on both of them if you want you can just select the person as well just give it a moment now it's only tracking for the person and you can drag and drop any video you want so let's try this for a different video altogether so now it's only tracking the persons uh, in this now if you want only to track the cars you can just say the car as well in it now you understand the general gist of it it's fairly simple on how to do this uh if you have followed my previous uh, streamlit app application tutorials you can you can see that it's very really simple to create a streamlit applications you just have to add probably 10 um, at max to d or 30 lines of code to the main uh, co code format right and it's really simple so let's just discuss about all the features we have right now in these applications uh, in, in this application we have a, a webcam button so when you press this button you uh, it can access the webcam you have a constraint threshold slider so it decides uh, in, on what constraint threshold you want the model to perform on if it's uh, i would suggest uh, if you have the latest models you could go with 0 0.5 uh, and you have a cl more clarity video and you want accurate uh, estimations you could go for 0 0.1 as well but uh, as this are a pretty uh, pretty blurry videos i'm going with a low threshold we have a option for dragging and dropping our videos and we also have an option for selecting our custom classes uh, and a button for st stopping the processing and also saving the results so let's just dive deep into the code it's fairly simple so this is a pretty old board this is something i have created a year ago or so probably six or eight months it has been uh, so it, uh, we are using YOLO V4 and I understand there are a lot of new models uh, but I figured you know once you get the general gist of it you can repurpose this code for any latest models so you can use it for YOLO V7 even for uh, object tracking and everything as well so we are just having the main import files and then we just add two new uh, imports one is stream data and one is temp file okay and then we create our new variable called demo video where we will create the uh, put in the default video so this video will uh, uh, access when you are starting the applications you can uh, you can see when i started the application there was a video running so that's the video on uh, a file name we are we are putting here we are defining the title so for title in stream it is st dot uh, title similarly we are also defining one more title on the sidebar so anything you want on the sidebar you have to mention xt dot sidebar dot title so similarly if you want a button on the sidebar you you have to say xt dot sidebar dot button so we created a button for webcam so maybe we create one more uh, a small title uh, title called subheader called parameters so that way we just have a bit more distinction okay we are creating constraint thresholds for that we use something called a slider so for accessing that slider is simply st.slider and we want it on sidebar so st.sidebar.slider and similarly we are also creating a file uploader so the file uploader works a bit differently in streamlit so yeah, by default file uploader can access any kind of uh, files but you just have to mention what kind of files you want so if you want to convert this into a image file uploader you just have to change the types here here we are we are using it for video so we are just mentioning the extensions of uh, videos mp4 mov avi and so on so if it 
for image, you just say uh, PNG, JPEG, and JPEG. Okay. We are also creating a temporary name because uh, Streamly processes video a bit differently for, so that we uh, use a temporary name. And if you have pro uh, followed previous my previous tutorials, you just understand the basic logic of it. But I'll explain once more. So we are just uh, stating a condi condition that, you know, if you haven't given any uh, upload, like, you know, you, you haven't uh, given any upload in the file uploader, it will check whether you're using the webcam. If not, if it, it will check if there is a demo video. So if there is no demo video, it will give out an error uh, saying there is none, none type object there. So to avoid that, I create a, uh, a, a variable called de demo video. Or else it will uh, that if if uh, there is a video file you have uploaded in the file uploader, it will just read that. So we are gonna just read the uh, using uh, cv2 dot video capture. Okay, and now here is the most important part to have the custom object detection. So first we are gonna define a new variable called class names, and we are gonna read all the classes from YOLO. So for that uh, you can use uh, uh, from core.utils, you can use the read class names and you get all the classes and then we create a checkbox whether you want to use the custom function or not because like you know in some scenarios you just want to run the model simply and this could be more of an option and you can use it to show uh, the model performance on different uh, different objects and you don't have to rerun the code every time so you can then after creating the checkbox you create a multi-select box so in which you can select multiple objects and where we are just uh, listing out the class names and we are keeping the default as car you can keep the default as anything you want but for the demo uh, purposes like i simply put as uh, put it as car and then we are also creating a stop processing button so if you feel like you know you just want to stop it and rerun it on a different video you can just say st.stop and so for videos, uh, Streamlit has a different way of processing videos. It cannot directly process the, process the video. So in that place, we create an empty array in which we process all the images all together. So for that, we just uh, say st.empty. And we also create a button for saving the results. So for that, we are just saying st.button save results. And these are all the main uh, the codes available in the yeah, main file. We are not going to mess around with that. We just are going to add to it, not uh, mess around with that code. So we are going to uh, now take the values of the video, the width, height, FPS, and uh, the out, like now in what output format you want. So I'm going to go with MP4. So for that, I'm going to use XVID. If you want to go for uh, uh, something like WebM, you can go for VP08 or VP09. These are all uh, uh, of like video formats in which you can save the video for okay and we are just uh, not gonna mess around with these uh, we are not changing anything here and at the end of the day we just uh, want to make sure that uh, we, we are getting all the classes okay so we, we are saying the allowed classes and we are just ask, uh, saying allowed classes equals to class name that values we, we have defined the class names Oh, we are just in the allowed classes section. We are adding these, okay? So with the assigned class, sorry, we have created a new, new variable called assigned class. I uh, in here using for the multi-select box. So in the allowed classes, we are just saying assigned class, okay? After that, you just have to uh, resize the uh, uh, resize the color to RGB to BGR, and then uh, show the video. So as I mentioned, we uh, we process the video in a bunch of arrays. So for that, we are going to use ST frame in which we created the empty array and image. And so the result is the final result. And we are, uh, the channel color is BGR because we are use, using OpenCV. We are using BGR. If if you don't want, you can you can now uh, uh, comment this part out. You can comment the color part out and remove the channels part as well. So that's about it. It's fairly simple. Uh, I'm not explaining the main functionality of the board, but I'm uh, showing you the way around it to create simple but effect effective applications. They might not be full-fledged applications. They could, this could be used for POC purposes. And then we can use it, uh, like, no, you can use something like Flask or other APIs to create a full-fledged application. So this has very, no, 
very few lines of code. Like you have to change a very few lines of code and you know, you can create a pretty smooth application. And you can obviously mess around with it, create more functions for it, more uh, options for it, and even try to uh, use it for different models as well. So, you know, if you guys try it out on YOLO V7 or YOLO V8 and, you know, you get successful, let me know. And if you face any issues as well, uh, do let me know. I hope you guys have a great day. And yeah, do subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Have, have fun. Bye.